Hello, Benoît Tinetti, Head of CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility at Civil Logistics, a subsidiary of CMS CGM Group. Decarbonization is obviously a key topic for our sector. Logistics represent about 11% of total greenhouse gas emissions. And at Civil Logistics, we are now a top five players, so we do have a responsibility to act in decarbonizing the value chains. I can see three main challenges. First one is the availability of low carbon fuels because this will be a key lever to decarbonize freight transport. The second main challenge relates to the cost of this low carbon fuel and alternative technology. To give you an example, currently the cost of sustainable aviation fuel is about three times the cost of traditional jet fuel. So last challenge, we need to face that collectively. We need to reduce climate change for the logistics sector with all actors, subcontractors, suppliers, customers, carriers. We are acting on three main decarbonization levers. First one relates to our warehouses. We do operate about 11 million square meters of warehouses and we have to decarbonize these sites. So for doing so, we are reducing our energy consumption. That's why we are switching all our warehouses to lead light. And we are installing more than 800,000 square meters of solar panels already in operation to decarbonize the electricity we consume. Second lever is to decarbonize the fleet of trucks and vans we do operate for our ground and rail activities and for our finished vehicle logistic activities. We do have already more than 700 of trucks using low carbon and alternative fuels, electric trucks, hydrogen fuel cell, biogas, biofuels. So we are testing all these initiatives. Lastly, we need to support our customers by proposing them low carbon offer, low carbon solution, whatever the mode of transport they are using, air, ocean, and road. CO2 performance is also an important topic for our customers and an important criteria besides transit time and cost. First, we start by measuring the carbon emission for a dedicated customer. We are trying to optimize and then we are exploring the various switching alternatives. So it could be model switch, air to ocean, road to whale or to barge, but also switching traditional fossil fuel to low carbon fuel. Innovation and sustainability are clearly linked. That's why at SIVA, we are working closely with the innovation department. Two examples I can highlight. First one is to allow our customers with a dedicated algorithm to select the greenest route from a port A to a port B. Second solution is to map and to optimize the network of charging station in the US for our trucks and electric vans. Decarbonizing logistics will be a key challenge and a complex one. It's really a collective challenge, so we need to embark as a free PL, as a logistics player. At SIVA, we do have the targets to be net zero carbon in 2050. 